hey, look, Booth, before you say anything, I, I know, I know we were meant to do this a long uh, time ago, but I, I just, um, I got busy. No, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't forget about you, love. I, I just, uh. I, f I felt I had things that were higher priority than this. Does that sound really bad? That, that that's not like to sound like you're not a high priority. Just you know, well, we've only met like once, and uh, I, had, I had stuff I had to do. Not not very a good excuse though, because it has been. Oh, fuck, was it? No, I haven't been six months. It's been six months. Fuck you know. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's not, that's not good of me, is it? Do you still want to do this? Because I'm, I'm happy too, but I understand if you're kind of put off me now. Yeah. Really? Okay. Uh, it's a nice little place you, play, you picked. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, not cool if I sit with you then. Yeah, let me just scoot in here. Hang on. Oh, I see why you didn't miss me all this time. Someone's been having fun. <laughs> Love you reek of him. Who do you think I'm talking about? I'd know that smell anywhere. So what was he like? Polite, yeah, yeah, sure. Hmm. What else? Chatty. Charming. Oh, he thinks he's charming. <laughs> he did mention me, right? I mean, because if you got close enough to her, How long ago did he bite you? <laughs> no, I know he hadn't turned you, trust me, I'd be able to tell that if you were a fucking vampire. I just mean the marks aren't very clear. It was a while ago now. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I'm just curious. You're about to ask me a bunch of questions, I can't ask you any questions in return. Not even when, well they kind of technically involve me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not about to get, like, territorial. Me and Ambrose, you know, we've known each other a long time. Love. We don't. We don't own each other. Don't you worry. We just, you know, if we do have, uh, what would you call them? Dalliances. <laughs> With other people, we just make each other aware, is all. Should have known, though, what a right little sleuth like you. Hmm. I'd run into him eventually. Glad it was him, though. Not anyone else. You know, not all vampires are approachable and nice, right? I mean, yeah, fair, neither are all werewolves, nor. Or humans. Did you... How did you meet him? <clears throat> Sorry. You, uh... You, you were gonna break into his house. I heard that right. And you thought that was wise? We did it at night time. Love you are something else, ain't you? No, he 
he's fine, I promise. I mean, like, <laughs> well, what exactly did he tell you? <laughs> Look, we have a special relationship, guys. <sighs> yeah, that's fair. We're mates. And we have fun. What? He said I, or what implied that I, or someone, and you're guessing it's me, comes to him for uh, comfort. <sighs> and what, you're, you're just assuming it's me, or did he, did he say that it was me? Right, well... No, I'm fine. Fine. Ambrose is uh, chatty. Yeah, he, he doesn't... If he likes you, which clearly he, he does like you, he... Uh... Maybe he can talk a bit too much, you know, spill some things that I'd rather us keep private. Yeah. I'm not one for going around doing... You know, PDA or uh, <laughs> sharing my private life with random people. So I hope any questions you're asking aren't going to be too probing. I guess we'll find out. Go on. No, I'm not. I'm not. Not. No. Well, I'm not annoyed with you. <sighs> Fine. And you know that just because, you know, you're getting on with him doesn't mean you have to do anything with me. I mean, yeah, we like to be kept aware, but also not like a, not a package deal, you know. We know that despite whoever else we might get intimate with, we're still each other's best mates. And as long as we're not trying to replace one another in that capacity, I don't really give a shit what we do with other people. We're not, like... We love each other, but we're not, like, in love with each other. You get me? Yeah. What? <laughs> Is that what the first... Have you got that written down? Is this the first question you're asking? It's just impromptu, is it? <laughs> You tell me that you're gonna, you just wanna ask some basic questions and learn about what werewolves are really like versus the myths. And the first thing that you ask me is <laughs> whether I think I could be in love with Ambrose. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna answer that. No. Don't really think it's any of your business. <laughs> what? Oh, or is it a question that I don't want to think about? Mate. Come on, love, get on with the actual questions that you've actually prepped, yeah? Can we do this? And none of them are going to be asking me about my love life, right? Good. So. What's first? Name. <laughs> Why do you need my name? I mean, I thought this was like general werewolf. What? <laughs> Have you got that? It looks like a bloody D&D &D sheet. Yes, I know what D&D &D is. Sorry, love, do you think that werewolves are the monsters live in some like alternate medieval dimension? <laughs> Time moves on, so do we. I'm not that old, anyway. <laughs> Don't ask more questions until you get it. <laughs> I'm sure Ambrose probably already let it slip past. <laughs> I can be a gentleman too, you know? Mm hmm. Come. Give me your hand. 
don't let it be said that I don't have manners or my mother would be turning in her grave. It's a pleasure to meet you, love. I'm Arden. Arden. A-R-D-E-N. Arden. Yeah. Who chose the name? Why does it matter who chose the name for me? Are you trying to say it's weird? What you think maybe my parents were a bit cruel choosing it or something. Right. Chose my own name, love. Thanks. No, I'm not offended. <laughs> Just because I might come off a, a little um, grumpy, apparently. Doesn't mean I am actually mad. I'm not, apparently, not the best at expressing my emotions. Don't know why that should matter. Well, I fair I had bubbly cheery all the fucking time. I don't know, you're asking me questions, I'm answering them. I don't get why. What? Whatever. Love. Come on. When did I get turned? I am not going to reveal that information. Happy to tell you how. What it's like, but... Do you really need to know how old I am? How old do you think I'm process? Mm -hmm. Ah, so he didn't tell you, but you're trying to guess from the house and the clothes and all that, yeah. Yeah, there's at least a couple hundred. I'm not going to say how many hundreds. But yeah, I think that's kind of obvious, isn't it, really? Me. Mm. Not as old as Ambrosius, let's say that. <laughs> My things of me like a baby for a reason. I assume we're counting from when I was born and not from when I was turned, yeah. That's normally how people count. Although some, you know, particularly some vampires just count how old they are from the day they were born as a vampire or reborn or whatever the fuck. <laughs> you got determination, I'll give you that. Or stubbornness. I've got plenty of that, so... I'm not in the multiple hundreds, let's say that. I do realise that puts me anywhere between 1 and uh, 199, but I'm sure you can at least work out that I'm not 1, right? Yeah. Well, I don't see why it's relevant to your question. You told me that you want to ask questions about werewolves, not questions about me. So, thank you, how was I turned that? I do not mind sharing. Well, I'm not going to give you all the details, but, uh, I assume you're interested in the basics, yeah. Just for clarity for your, uh, research. You ever spoke to a werewolf before? Didn't think so. How do you think it happens then? Biting, you would be correct. Though not the only way. We can get scratched as well. I mean, notice this massive fucking mark on my neck, yeah. I got scratched. Oh yeah, big fucker as well. Right across my throat. That was gonna bleed out. But here I am. 
Now, what you might not know, do you think that it's any kind of bite, any kind of scratch? Well, what I mean is, if I scratched you right now, do you think that would turn you? <laughs> no, you're safe, love. I could only turn you if I were to bite you or scratch you while I was in my wolf form. Yeah. Uh, kind of like how uh, vampires can only infect you with, you know, the fangs. If they bit you with any other tooth, it wouldn't do shit. Because it's, it's almost like a, it's like a venom or something, you know, that, that is in those two teeth. Kind of similar with wolves, we are, uh, you know, when we transform. The whole body changes, including the teeth and the nails, you know, becomes claws and, uh, you know, big old sharp munches. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if I bit you with those, oh yeah, if I scratched you with those, yeah, yeah. But uh, if I just bit you with me old human teeth or scratched you with my fingernails, it wouldn't do shit. I mean, it might sting, you know, I could still do as much damage as a human, well, more damage than a human could, because extra strength, but, uh, it won't turn you into a werewolf, no. Oh yeah, extra strength. Well, I mean, you see it in vampires as well. Some people, you know, theorise that maybe they are, uh, what would you call it? I don't know, but the, 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 the uh, the vampire and werewolf uh, viruses, if you want to call them that, essentially like evolved from the same virus that kind of just branched off. Because there's plenty of similarities. Oh yeah, like the the speed and the strength. Vampires tend to be a bit more agile. Uh, and some of them, you know, have extra powers and stuff. Um, but they're like unique to individual vamps. It's not like everyone gets uh, shape-shifting, or, uh, what else, um, what do they call it, allure, 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 I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that, some people call it charm, but I don't, I think that's confusing when you call it that, because some people then mean charm just to mean, you know, if someone's charming, uh, and most calls it a law. I mean, <laughs> as in a L L U R E. Yeah. Uh, essentially, hypnosis, but it's not exactly. I, I guess essentially it's hypnosis, yeah. But it's more of a. It's a thing they can turn on and off. And more specific than hypnosis, it specifically like. Makes you comfortable and uh, relaxed and uh, kind of in love with or attracted to or the vampire willing to let them do whatever uh, which I, before you start worrying Ambrose doesn't do that <laughs> I mean like you'd know if you'd if, if you'd been uh, lured in and then uh, he came out of it which you're clearly not right now, I'd be able to tell. You get, it causes a kind of glassy glow on on the eyes. Uh, sometimes can like change your eye colour to the same as the vampires that's, that's doing it to you. Uh, you would know. Yeah, you'd know if it had happened to you. It doesn't like erase your memory or anything. Uh, some claim to have, be able to like read minds and stuff, I've never met one who could. So I don't know if that's bullshit, but I guess there's a potential for it. I haven't met every vampire in the world. Uh, definitely, you know, shapeshifting and, 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 and hypnosis, kind of. Yeah. Uh, it's not not fly in, in the way you're thinking. They can't just, like, like fly like fucking Superman or something. Uh, because they're so agile, they can, like, jump a lot higher than a human could, which kind of gives the illusion of flight. Obviously, if they can shapeshift, then, you know, they could shapeshift into a bat or a bird or, you know, something that can fly. Um, 
We were talking an awful lot about vampires. Right, yeah, because obviously. <laughs> Similarity, it's uh, silver. People think silver's just for animals, it's not. I mean, the whole reason of the myth of, like, uh, vampires not having reflections or being able to show up in photographs is because, you know, back in the day, mirrors were made with silver, like, lined with silver. Not just the frame, but the actual the, the mirror, you know, the bit that reflects. Um, and uh, early photography used silver in, like, the... I don't know what the proper terms are, but, you know, in, like, the compound or whatever that took the photos or something. Um, I know so, some people believe that it's because, like, mirrors or, ref like, you needed a soul, right? That mirrors kind of reflected your soul or something, and some people believed in the early days of photography, right? That, like, having a photo of you captured a literal piece of your soul. That every photo you had literally put a bit of your fucking stole a bit of your soul, essentially, which we know is fucking bullshit. That's just like fearful Christians and religious people being like, oh, crazy new technology, devil work, you know, fucking bullshit, so. Digital photography, yeah, Ambrose will show up in. Newer mirrors, we think, I think, yeah, I mean, all the mirrors in his house are fucking old as shit, love, so like, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of compact that he does show up in. I don't know why he doesn't just replace his mirrors, but you know, the antiques are, oh, and you can't just throw them out, family heirlooms, all that, you know. I don't get why he just can't pop them out and put a new one out. Well, I guess that would mean he's got to have it like custom caught and someone's got to deliver it, and I don't really like humans poking their noses around this. Well, <laughs> let's you in. Oh, don't they? Anyway, point is, yeah, silver, so, like, duh, ah, silver bullets that you had. I mean, you knew all about that, wouldn't you? Trying to shoot me and all. <laughs> Though, you know, uh, bullets gonna do plenty of damage on its own, no matter what it's made of, though, you know, healing factor, so, uh, but I mean, Brain and hearts are brain and hearts, you know. If someone were to stake a werewolf, let's say, you know, shove something through the heart, I feel like that'd kill him. Don't matter what it's made of. I'm not invincible. You know, if someone destroys the heart and you're dead before you can heal yourself, then you're dead, you know. Yeah, full moons, there was... <sighs> Not exactly like you'd think. Well, so... I can transform any time I want. It's not just a... Oh, you become a werewolf on the night of the full moon and the rest of the time you're human. No, no. A wolf can transform whenever you want. We are stronger at night time. Um, again. Which makes me... Kind of believe the theory that it's similar to vampirism than people would like to think. Uh, you know, there's always been an old rivalry there. But nothing like any stupid movies tend to make out like. It's more just uh, plenty of us get along, you know, because we have to. What, what we're gonna do? Try and get along with humans. Uh, there's been the odd clans here and there that are uh, that fight with each other, but. Vampires have fought with humans more than they fought with us, so. And humans have been more aggressive and aggressors to either of us than we have to each other. But, uh. Yeah, so. Could transform now if I wanted to. Not that I do. That'd be really fucking stupid. But, uh. Weaker in the daytime in the sunlight, stronger at night time. Um. Full moon nights, though, yeah, are kind of involuntary transformation. Not as bad as some things make. I mean, if it's your first transformation, yeah, you need to be looked out for. Uh, but it, it, like, if I were if, if if I were at your place, for example, no, I don't know why I'd be at your your place. I, I wasn't just. The point is uh, that um, uh, 
if I were and there was a full moon, you wouldn't, you'd have to like chain me to a radiator or something. But I should probably just not be in the house. Uh, it, 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 let's, let's put it this way, it's, it's almost like your senses become a bit more animalistic. You don't forget that you're a person. But certain urges are just harder to control. Like, I mean, I wouldn't like eat you or anything like that. I mean, werewolves don't eat humans, so I wouldn't have the urge to eat you, but I would want to be uh, running or hunting or something. Uh, I, I don't know if you need to put that down. I, uh, running or hunting or mating. I'm not, no, we're not, another time we can go into those details if you want. I mean, no, no we won't. Anyway, is that, I feel like that's a good place to, to leave off that, yeah. Did you want to order something while we're here? No, I'm putting an official pause to that because I don't want, I don't, I don't want to think about what I just brought up. I don't want you thinking about it either. So, uh, do you want to order food? I mean, you chose to meet up at a cafe. I assumed that you probably wanted. Did you get something before I got here? Medina sandwiches, right? I can go for one. If you don't mind. Oh no, <laughs> no, I, I, I can, I can pay. I, well, yeah, you, you did drag me a bit of a way out, but it's not a problem. I. What? Oh. <laughs> you insist. I. Uh, okay. Thank you. Sorry, that's not meant to sound ungrateful. I'm, not just, I'm just not really used to that. Kindness from strangers and all that. Well, people can get a bit freaked. Apparently I look a bit... unapproachable. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, I don't know what I got. I guess just tea, yeah, well. Uh. Cheers, yeah. <laughs> like, sure, maybe one day, yeah, we could have liked dinner hamburgers. Thank you all so much for watching, my lovelings. A reminder that audio commissions are currently open, and I also have a Ko-fi and a Patreon. If everyone who followed me donated just £1 per month, that would help me out a lot. There are numerous different rewards on my Patreon, including access to my Discord, your name read aloud in the credits, and exclusive Not Safe For Work audios that you get to request. And a reminder that I do stream on Twitch about three times every week. I try and make all of my socials a safe space for everyone. And a thank you to my fledglings. Cryic, Phoenix JN, Andy Christ, Donut Rebel, Isabel, Victor's Divorce Lawyer, Enter, Cello Moon, Whipsum, Kim, Leviathan, Fergie Blurk, Colleen Dawn, Harmony Phillips, Wesley D, Taylorg, Tech Sexual, Theo Nightmare, Liam, Mike Yavosky, Nesquik, Vampire Obsessed, Nerd Herder, Mouse, Ali Wally, and Lizzie Hanya. And a thank you to my familiars TRO Voodoo Doll, Neuron Name, Abby Clayton, Maximum, Your Friend Blue, Dandelion, Saladaria, Lauren Lovett, April, Cynical Altura, Arantza, and Abby.